Welcome back to Vampire. It's time to head back to the uh, Pembroke Hospital and speak with Lady Ashbury. However, instead of going back the way we came and encountering the same enemies, let's go back a different way and also do this Holy Crusade quest at the same time. So that's one where the asshole priest here, who I'm going to kill as soon as I can, sent Samuel, the disciple, into the cemetery to speak to the cursed. We'll see if we can help them. I suspect they're probably already dead. But, uh, let's go. I assumed that this door would just be locked and maybe I couldn't actually go here yet. That's, uh, Camellia right over there. But, no, nope, looks like it's open and I see an enemy right on the other side. Whitechapel Old Road. So that's the name of the district? Old Road. Oh, and also, I realized when I was editing the last episode that I forgot to try out the new ability, Coagulation, that I got. So I replaced one of them with Coagulation. Costs nothing, and at the moment will make them stay put for two seconds. See them fancy <laughs> Oh, holy hell. Reverend Kane. Whoa. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that didn't do much damage. Oh, that took away tons of my blood. my blood, I'm gonna get it back, you bastard. Stop! Vampire! This man stung me with his faith, his crucifix. This is not good news. Yeah, that was a really interesting enemy, unexpected. Why am I in walk mode? How do I change that? Oh, there we go. It's B for some reason. B switches from walk to run. Okay, let's go this way. goes. Quarantine. Uh, no one shall enter or leave quarantine area without written permission of the local health authority. No person except an authorized employee, etc, etc. Oh. Find me. Look at how pretty that is. Let's just get a look at this. Look at the reflections off the stone and the warm glow of the fire lighting up all the grass around it and the beautiful monster feasting upon flesh, I guess. Ooh, level 16. This is a pretty high level. Oh, 
Whoa! Holy shit! You teleport! Two more. Three more? Where did all you come from? Ultimate time. When they explode, they should do damage to everybody around them. Oof. Those were good fights. Yeah, they're very high level, but definitely doable. Oh, you know what? I can't go in here. You know, I meant to go in here. Can't actually fit. But guess what? We can get a peek behind the curtains. Let's go ahead and ruin all our immersion. Uh huh. There's... Well, actually, it's not really immersion ruining at all. There is stuff behind here. I thought maybe it would just be like an open void or something, but... No? Mason? I should check up there. But first, loot. Open that just in case it was locked. Apparently I wasn't. Ah. That must be Mason. Mason or the Mason, I'm not sure. Oh, you can just walk up there. That makes sense. I mean, how else would normal people get there? Normal people can't teleport. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. Oh, I can't do anything without Mesmerize level 3. Looks like their eyes are all white. Maybe they're blind? What is that noise, by the way? All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. Sounds like somebody's trying to beat down their door from the other side. They have a migraine. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I recognize that name. Mason Swanborough. That last name, Swanbro. Yeah, Loretta Swanbro, the uh, snake oil salesperson. Let's continue on to the cemetery.
I love that there's just there's just piles of money laying around. I mean, with all these like thieves and thugs hanging around. Well, I don't know if any of them are thieves, but definitely thugs hanging around. You think there wouldn't be literally piles of shillings everywhere? Oh, quarantine warning from the other side. Because yeah, this is a fairly open world game. I could have totally gone here from the other side. So is this whole area that's sort of reddish here, is that whole area under quarantine? No, I don't think so. Because we entered right here. That was the gate. And the quarantine thing was right here, I think? I totally lost my direction. I know the cemetery's back there. Anything around this corner, though? Trash. That's very satisfying. <laughs> Little rat friends. Uh, how do I get in there? It's not even giving me a prompt to try to open it, not even saying it's locked. Can you just not go this way? Maybe you can. Maybe you gotta go at it from the hospital end and go up here. Hmm. Yeah, on the map, I really don't see any other way other than this gate right here, which is unusable. Unless there's something I can teleport to. There is kind of like a, a thin point right here. Can I get up here? I can't jump, is the thing. Ooh! A strange formula! Nice. I have to examine that. Yeah, I, I can't use that. Oh, shit. I think they're down there. It said Widow in Distress, I think? But yeah, I can't teleport up there. I can't jump. Shit. Alright, well, I guess I'm uh, going back around the other way, which means I'm going to have to go to the hospital first. What's up here? Oh, there's a safe house! Sweet! Yeah, this is just right next to the cemetery, by the way. Just as soon as I was leaving, I noticed a place up here to teleport to. The best thing about it, no load zone. That makes me feel more safe than anything. Let's see what new recipes we can get. Treatment for headache, migraine. That's one that keeps coming up, but I've never been able to treat it so far. And neuralgia. Never seen anybody with that. I also don't know what that actually is. Neuralgia is a stabbing, burning, and often severe pain due to an irritated or damaged nerve. Ah. Uh, well, instead of going back the exact way that I came here from, let's take a different way back. Maybe find some new stuff, maybe unlock a shortcut or something like that. So I came into this place from over here, and then I guess probably here? Yeah, I think I came from here, so I'm gonna go this way instead. There's some enemies ahead of me. I thought all enemies drop stuff, but these two didn't drop anything. Guard the freedom of us all. Join the royal fleet to Dash Day. Oh shit. 
Uh, let's take on the skulls first, huh? I tried to parry. I swear I'm trying to parry. No! I'm supposed to be gaining blood by doing this, not losing it. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Jesus, I can't see anything here. So where am I exactly? Oh, this is... So this is just a little offshoot here. Let's check it out then. wide range. I have no stamina. Gotamine, nice. Wolf scarf, what? Why'd you take me here? Is it a quest item? Oh, it is. A beautiful and warm woolen scarf with a traditional Romanian pattern. Hmm. I guess I found a quest item without having the quest.
Looks like that's it. Let's continue on this way. Keep, gotta keep remembering to look up. And have we rejoined? Yes, we have. Alright, let's head back to the hospital. I guess I'll probably cut that out unless there's new enemies along the way or something. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. What? This is like 10 seconds after, by the way, this cut. I'm, I'm still like right here. Something going on? Oh! Just a sec, buddy. It's down. Finish it. Oh, they just keep coming unlimitedly. That was a really good fight. So, they put down human blood on purpose to try to attract vampires. They're obviously rather elite, relatively elite vampire hunters. Trying to have the vampires come out from the smell of human blood. I wonder whose blood it was. I don't know, maybe they just took it from some of the some plague victim. I think I got a new weapon. Which it must have given me that automatically as soon as I killed the other boss enemy. So I don't think there's anything to pick up for this one. I don't see anything. We really want to make sure I don't miss it. Oh, shit. That's a huge rat. That can't be the source of the blood, though. Jonathan said it's human blood, right? 
Pretty sure. Or maybe they just said it was put there deliberately. Now I'm doubting myself. Anyway. Let's take a look at what I got. Ah, it was this. Used truncheon. Offhand melee weapon. Attack speed is 10. Let's double the common barbed cudgel. Also double the scythe. But less than... Um, Less than the common machete. Okay, so it's a decent speed. Takes 40 stamina? Shit, that's actually quite a bit more than the scythe. Which is pretty amazing, considering that it's a one-handed weapon. Right? It's an offhand melee weapon. This is double-handed. Weird. But it does a lot of stun damage. 15. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put that in here instead of the common machete. Wait. Oh, it's got to go down here. Oh, so that means... Oh, it has to be in place of the revolver. Ah. Uh, so I can't have a gun if I have it. Okay. Interesting. How much damage does it do, by the way? Oh, it doesn't do any damage at all. It only stuns. Interesting. Interesting. Try it out. Yeah, I can only do three full hits with it. With all my stamina. I'm not sure how much 15 stun damage is, though. I think that's quite a bit, but... You know, we'll see in practice how good that is. Nice. Wait, what's in here? Because I've already been to this area, right? But I don't think I've been in here. Okay, then. Almost back to the hospital. All right, let's test out this cudgel. Good start. Not bad. popped up automatically. But boot boy's note. Concerning the recruitment of new boys in Whitechapel, I think I found one, Alby. He's as stupid as a stool, but tough. I asked him to prove to me he could get some drugs for the black market and delivered quickly and nicely. Next time we meet, I'll tell him he's accepted as a wet boot boy and he must now meet the bosses to get his orders. Hmm. I'm sure Albert would like to know he's been accepted by the wet boot boys. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't think that would actually lead to a quest. So what's over this way? I guess I probably haven't been here either.
Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Let's do some AoE. Effective. Yeah, I think I keep calling it a cudgel, I think. It's a truncheon. I don't even know what a truncheon is, but I guess a truncheon is this. <laughs> Whatever that is. A big club. It's really damn effective. Whoops. I'm really tempted to just kind of stick with it because it's working really damn well, but the thing is, if I do that, I think I'm going to abandon me attempting to parry at all. Because this takes parrying out of the equation. And it just wouldn't be right to take parry the platypus out of this game. Plus, I don't want to fall back to my Dark Souls ways. Still, though, I'm going to stick with it for now and just see how it is some more. But it is dangerously effective. <laughs> Where am I now? Oh, there's like a little dead end here. Where those people are. Let's go explore it. This way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Gather round! Blood back. You're gonna be my blood donor, okay? I'm pretty sure that the more you stun an enemy, the more they resist it. Because it seems like they stun pretty easily the first time, maybe in like three or maybe four or five hits for the, the big people. But then after they go down, it seems like it's significantly harder to stun them again. Some sort of resistance that they build up, I guess, probably trying to stop you from just being able to stun lock enemies. Trying to stop you from being able to use just one strategy. Look at you. We got a floater here. Oh, a bunch of shotgun shells. Is that just like an armory for the vampire hunters? Bullets too, yeah. Yeah, it must be. It's one of their hideouts. Check upstairs in a second.
Hi, buddy. Use Pruin Steak. Another new weapon. Another one that it doesn't want to take me to when I press the button that it says to press to take you to it. Uh, this one. Use Pruin Steak instead of used steak. Stamina 30. Okay, so attack speed and stamina is the same. Looks like the only... Yeah, the only difference is that it's better. They're both offhand melee weapons, but this one does 15 stun instead of 10. Well, wait a minute. Wait, isn't it just better than the truncheon? Right? They're both offhand weapons. They both do the same amount of stun. It takes 35 stamina to do this instead of 40. This is... This is just strictly better, isn't it? Let's try it out. Report about Pembroke. 2nd of November from Scott Lewis Cagney to Mr. Joffrey McCollum. Object Pembroke Hospital Survey Vampire Activity. Shit, people are observing it. Sir, having observed the Pembroke Hospital for two weeks now, um, and we can confirm vampire activity there. First, we now have proof of the presence of a female leech inside the hospital. The beast is clever. She acts like a mental patient to hide her true unholy condition. I personally sneaked inside the hospital and heard the creature whining about her need for blood since her body is decaying. But it gets worst. It, it gets worst? The administrator of the Pembroke Hospital is Dr. Swansea. According to our team leader, Amanda Tilton, who died yesterday in a fight against a skull by the canal, he may be a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. If that's true, then there may be something big going on at the Pembroke. Maybe even a nest of vampires, protected by those bloody traitors of the stole. We don't know what to do, but we're convinced you better come quickly with reinforcements and heavy gear. Well, I help. I hope I've kept them away from Pembroke Hospital by grabbing that message. I don't know if that message was being sent to someone else or if it was being sent here and I just killed the people who received it. Either way, I don't want a battalion of asshole vampire hunters raiding a hospital. The Great Hunt, hail to our fallen comrades. Hail to their bravery, for we prevailed, the guard prevailed, my brothers. We hunted them down, the enemies of mankind, hidden in the dark tunnels of our modern cities. We found them in their nests and dens, and they perished. We brought the fires of battle to the blackest pits. Never had such large-scale war been engaged by mortals against immortals. Remember this victory, my brothers, for it seals and proves our methods. Never sleep, never surrender, never give up. You actually might want to sleep, that's kind of important. Yes, my brothers, our method is good, and England is safer tonight thanks to you. Thanks to those of us bitten and killed by the enemy, or our trembling hand when they turned against us. Um, do not tremble, my brothers. Do not doubt. I cry tonight for the fallen comrades. I cry for I'm an old man who finally saw my goal accomplished as I live my last years on this earth. The Guard of Pruin is only half a century old, and we have already accomplished much more than, I think it's supposed to say, than the traitors of St. Paul in half a millennium. This was our first great hunt. Let them leeches who survived our wrath remember we won't stop. From the Adversary by Kendall Stone, founder of the Guard of Pruin. And we are now back to Pembroke Hospital. District status healthy. Okay. I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. Oh yeah. Good times. Back to raiding the hospital for supplies. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go speak with Lady Ashbury.